Okay, so this is in Fort Myers, Florida. I'm looking at a one of these, possibly these orange lights that shut off and then turn back on. I think it's gonna turn orange and then shut off. I've seen it already shut off, um, but it doesn't get very orange if it does get orange at all. I don't think it really does. It turned on about, I don't know, I wanna say like five seconds, just over, just over five, like five or six seconds before I started this. This is on Colonial um, Boulevard here in Fort Myers, Florida. This is, oh, I hate that, what is the deal with this? It's so bright. But this is um, Fortune Cove Apartments, anyway. And looking down there, that sign, it does cycle through like a very vitamin P yellow color, just like the color of lights I would say. Well, on here it doesn't really look that yellow, but visually it is very yellow. Um, that color right there, yeah. I guess the camera just isn't going to do it justice. But that's about the same color yellow as the vitamin P color, uh, yellow colored lights that I talk about sometimes that I think are positioned at interesting places. Um, in multiple cities, I'm pretty sure that they're important because um, they keep reappearing, like the purple street lights. They also put them in parking lots and stuff like that. Um, Kind of like mercury vapor lights. Those three kinds of lights and like lights like this seem like they might be positioned in important places. Um, but they, these look accidental, right? And if you look down here, there are like three lights in a row at least that are out, um, possibly from the hurricane. Um, also, there are two lights in a row. See how there's like a little gap right there? There are two lights in a row right there where Challenger intersects Colonial there. Um, Challenger Street or Challenger Road. Um, if we were to keep going south, like keep going, I'm sorry, east that direction, eventually you'd come to Winkler, um, which I think is the stoplight that we can maybe barely see from here, if at all, down there. Yeah, eventually down there there's a stoplight. That would be um, Winkler. Anyway, so I wanted to make that point that there are some lights out, but this light here is positioned here. And I don't know if this is an important position, I guess. Uh, however, um, I just want to make the, also make the point here. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of the street now. There's a street that intersects this over there. It's called Camino, like Camino Way or something like that. Um, and that goes south and connects to another road, also intersects other roads. We also have mercury vapor rich kind of metal halide lights. This shows up way greener than it looks visually. Visually that looks kind of actually bluish, but mostly white. Um, so that is an example of what I call funny lights because it's got some of the mercury vapor in it and it shows up greener on camera. Um, from over here, they actually looked even more that way to me for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, more green but yeah that's a another case of those kinds of lights then we got that light there and then we have Camino Way over there I don't know that that's really a coincidence um, or you know whether that's important or not for sure but I'm keeping track of when we have these kinds of funny lights here on Colonial Boulevard and I'm gonna keep going westward